I've always had a great interest in the act of martyrdom and the approach to uh, virtue that's characteristic of the Catholic tradition. I've been puzzled by the question, is martyrdom virtuous? Because uh, on the one hand, acts of virtue are meant um, to bring about a certain type of flourishing or well-being in the person who performs them. They're not just to satisfy some moral rule uh, imposed from outside, but to satisfy some, some inner dynamism within human nature. Uh, martyrdom in the Christian tradition has always been considered to be a good act. And indeed, St. Thomas Aquinas regards martyrdom as the sign of the perfection of charity or the love of God. Uh, so it's an act of eminent virtue, and yet it's an act that does not lead to one's well-being or flourishing. It leads to one's death. So I was always intrigued by this question. And I've discovered that really um, you can only conceive of martyrdom as an act of virtue if you have a theological account of what it means to flourish or what it means to be a good human being. And you have to have a certain notion of the meaning of death in, in order to make sense of that. Uh, we see uh, martyrdom uh, in our own present day circumstances. Uh, and, and many people believe that there are more martyrs uh, now, certainly within the last 150 years, than there ever had been uh, up until that time. So how do we make sense of, of, of martyrdom today? I think the key is uh, understanding what Christians believe about the relationship between uh, actions here in this life and the meaning of our death. Um, and of course, for Christians, uh, the martyr par excellence is Christ, who, who gave up his life, not in order to promote any kind of uh, political agenda, but in order to reveal God's love and in order to um, atone for the sins of, of humanity. Now, martyrs don't necessarily atone for sins, but Christians have always seen martyrs as participating in the death of Christ, a death that was nonviolent, that was accepted rather than brought about on one's own, um, and one that sort of is the fruit of love rather than uh, anger or spite. Um, and so this category of martyrdom is um, very much alive in the world today. Uh, very recently, Archbishop Oscar Romero was declared a martyr uh, by Pope Francis, uh, although it was disputed for years because he died not as the result of a religious persecution, but as the result of political violence. And yet uh, his advocacy for the poor, uh, his resistance against the violence that was going on in El Salvador at the time, uh, led him to, to being assassinated while he was celebrating the Eucharist at the altar. Uh, and so the church, after some time of discernment, has declared him to be a martyr, even though his death did not come about directly as a result of religious persecution. Um, so this category of martyrdom uh, is very much alive and it's undergoing development theologically, conceptually, in our own present day. Um, Catholics, Christians generally are trying to understand more deeply now and more broadly what it would mean to be a martyr in the 21st century.